Trinity, hold on to me. Oh, it's just you guys. Oh, you startled me for a second. Welcome to Demolition Ranch! Everyone has seen the movies where someone shoots an elevator cable, most times with a pistol, it breaks it in half, the elevator goes crashing down, the person shoots straight up, and it is awesome. It's super great for, for cinema. That happened in The Matrix. Neo grabs Trinity, she holds on to him, he holds on to her, he grabs a nine millimeter pistol, fires, hits an elevator cable, they go up to safety, elevator crashes down, explodes at the bottom. So I kinda wanna see if that's real, but unfortunately our budget is not good enough that we have an elevator or an elevator shaft here. But we do have an elevator cable. Check this beefy boy out. So this is a really large elevator cable because I wanted to simulate what happened in the Matrix because that was like a 20 story building, so it would take a really big, strong cable. So obviously, this thing is much bigger than a nine millimeter, so I'm very doubtful that a nine millimeter will chop this thing in half, but there's only one way to find out. Let's go ahead and back up and shoot it with a nine millimeter. Okay, let's go check this out, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this off. I feel too powerful with it, you know what I mean? Oh, wow, yeah, okay. So obviously the steel cable did not care about our bullets at all. There's a hit there, squished in between the cable. You can see copper and lead. There's the butt of a bullet right there. That's a great one. <laughs> Just squished. There's, I think, two more there. Uh, all totally didn't do hardly anything. This one actually did spread those cable fibers a little bit, but not much. We are going to have to shoot it with something bigger. Let's try something bigger and heavier for this next shot. 45 out of the gold Tommy gun. Okay, let's see what a 45 does to that cable. Oh, um, I missed. Hit. That is a 45, did the same thing as a nine. This is a 45, actually went right on top of where another nine was. That's the nine from before. Yeah, there was another nine right there. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, we are gonna need more power and more speed to do anything to this. I mean, the, the most damage we've done is right here. That one wire is bent out a little bit. You can see how tight these are all together and this one's kind of all by itself. That's it, hitting it with multiple nine millimeters and a couple 45s. Step it up. Okay, we're stepping it up in a big way. This is a 4570. It's a giant round. Very, very large. Very powerful. It would take down an elephant. These have actually been used to kill elephants. We're gonna shoot it at that steel cable and see if it does anything. Shoot a few more. Oh, I missed. There's one, here's another one right here. I think that yeah, I hit one, hit came in right here and didn't hit it super hard. This one though, freaking pounded it. But it's weird, there's like copper here and here, which I don't remember seeing that one before. This is definitely new and it went in there and spread that out. But pff, not even close to cutting this cable in half, which I want you to remember in the movies a nine millimeter cut it in half. Let me just show you the difference in those two rounds. Nine millimeter, okay. Super common round, one of the most, probably one of the most, if not the most prolific rounds ever. 4570 government. Big mamma jamma. Much heavier, 
going much faster. A lot more power out of this. And that will not even cut a cable. And in the movies, they're claiming one shot from this would cut a cable. So, movies are lying. And I mean, think about that. Like, we have a big cable, so let's say, maybe they were on an elevator with a smaller cable. Let's say it was just one of these strands that are all wrapped together. We hit solidly one of those strands with the 4570, and it didn't even cut any of the strands. It just bent them. So that would not even drop an elevator if it just hit that one single strand with one of the most powerful rifles around. Speaking of that, we have, we have more powerful rifles than that. Here's that giant 4570 bullet that I was just showing you guys. That is a 300 Win Mag. So what you'll notice is the case is bigger, which means it has more powder. The bullet is narrower and smaller, which means that bullet is going way faster. You have a smaller bullet, way more powder, so it's going super fast. Speed is how you get through hard things. So we are going to shoot 300 Win Mag out of this Falcor Petra. We haven't had that thing on the channel in a while, but it's one I've had for a long time. It's a really awesome gun. It's basically just an AR chambered in 300 Win Mag. Super awesome gun. Very powerful, very accurate. Doesn't kick much. I really like it. Okay, let's see what it does to the steel cable. Oh, I was gonna shoot a couple rounds, but let's go look at that first because it just ripped the side out. I just found a 45 ACP on the ground. I don't think it's from this video though. There have been other times we fired 45 ACP out here. Okay, dude, holy cow. Okay, so that's the first time we've broken a wire and it broke it really well as you can see so we came through here busted these wires here looks like it hit two of these big strands two of these and it broke wires from both of them bent this one out bent that really good i mean i would say that there's still probably 75 percent of the strength of that wire is still good to go i mean we didn't bust many of them i bet we only busted 15 percent of the wires I would say we bent some other ones, so I would say, I'm totally making all this up, but in my mechanical engineer opinion, uh, that would still hold an elevator up. I'm gonna shoot 300 Magnum a couple more times. Also, I'm not a mechanical engineer, for those who didn't realize that was a joke. Uno mas. Shoot! Let's see what we got. Those were both solid hits right in here, chopped up more wires. Man, it's still so strong. In my civil engineer opinion, that would still hold. I'm not I'm not any kind of engineer, just say I'll know. It would still hold up an elevator though, in, in my veterinary opinion, for sure. I am a veterinarian, just just in case you guys I, I really am that. I am I am a vet. That that one's that one's true. Barrett M82, 50 BMG. I was thinking we could shoot like this one. First, just a regular full metal jacket, and then we could shoot this one. It's an incendiary. And then we could shoot uh, this one, armor-piercing incendiary tracer. And then we could shoot this one, a uh, armor-piercing incendiary. And then we could shoot this one, a straight armor-piercing. This one is the best because all of its mass goes to just piercing armor. So I'm going to load these in order backwards. And then we'll just kind of go down the cable. I'll start high and just start going down it so we can try to see what each one of these rounds will do to that giant cable. All right, full metal jacket first. Now this one is incendiary. This is an armor-piercing incendiary tracer. This is an armor-piercing incendiary. Woo! And this is a black tip API round. My goggles are fogging up. 
I missed one shot a little bit. Uh, I hit everyone, but just one of them didn't hit well. This is the first Full Metal Jacket solid hit right here. It actually did cut. I can't figure out where this cable came from. So these both actually are cut from the second one. So Full Metal Jacket actually didn't do as much damage as this makes it look like. This is all damage from that. Full Metal Jacket, this is the incendiary round, the round that explodes. So it actually cut these two cables over here in half. Here's the other ends of them right here. And then, man, you still have one, two, three, four, five of those big pieces of cable still together, which is very strong. So I honestly don't know that that's going to uh, drop either. And then the other ones, man, I started pulling to the left a little bit. So this is the, uh, this is armor piercing incendiary tracer, the red and silver tip, and I started pulling left. So this one hit, but it looks like the round kind of squirreled out this way. This one is the silver tip, the armor piercing incendiary, barely touched it, and then that is the black tip, barely touched it. They were getting more and more left as we went down. I'm gonna go check my scope, and we're gonna have to reshoot these things because that doesn't help us at all. We didn't hit it with any of our armor penetrating rounds. The last three rounds, red, silver, black. And I shot this thing off camera. Uh, it's going down three inches and to the left one inch, which is why I couldn't tell on the up and down because we're shooting some in a straight line. But down at the bottom where it started, it's actually, you can see it starts curving that way. So I was missing them because it was shooting three inches lower than I thought and to the left. So our Barrett somehow, I think there's like leprechauns that come screw with my scopes in the middle of the night because this thing used to be like a month ago, super sighted in. Oh, it is not anymore. All right, we're gonna just adjust for it and make it happen. In my scope, that is so bright. We're gonna have to go look at it because that really messed up the cable. I hit it right there and it did go straight through. There's a hole in the middle where that penetrator went straight through. Um, and we did cut some cables. It cut this one in half. Okay, I just it cut one cable. Um, but then it unwound them all down here at the bottom, which is pretty crazy. I kind of don't think there's any reason to shoot it anymore because we already proved that an armor penetrating round will go straight through a elevator cable, but it's so small, it's a only 50 cal that it busts right through, but there's still tons of cables holding it up. So if your elevator cable's that thick, then yes, your 50 BMG armor penetrating incendiary trace around would cut it and you might be able to knock that elevator down. If you are shooting a nine millimeter, it's very unlikely and probably impossible that you will actually cut that in half with a nine millimeter. Sorry, the matrix is not real. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Demolition Ranch. I love you and I'll see you next time. Contact line! It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor.